Hello, I'm James Sherwood. Have you ever considered what goes on inside of your television? Most people don't know it, but there's amazing stuff happening between all these colors. In the business, they call that the spectrum. If you jump around this color bar, you can find big pockets of totally empty space that can be used for all sorts of wireless things. You can think of it like Wi-Fi on steroids. Come on in and I'll show you. Well, come on. Don't be afraid. Welcome to the white space. It's kind of cool, isn't it? First, a little history. When television was invented back in the 1940s, we needed every bit of the wireless spectrum to deliver that TV picture to your living room. Since spectrum is a public resource managed by our government, the government set aside a section of spectrum to allow the first television stations to broadcast their programming. We now know those channels today as VHF channels 2 through 13. Well, pretty soon, television became so popular that the government set aside more channels in order to accommodate more broadcasters. This time, UHF channels 14 through 69. Well, times sure have changed. Today we have hundreds of channels, but most of them are not delivered through over-the-air broadcasts. Most people get their TV through cable or satellite providers. So while we have many more channels available to consumers, TV actually uses a very small portion of the spectrum. As a result, a large portion of the spectrum sits unused and wasted. This unused spectrum has a large potential for an incredible array of wireless applications and services. We call this unused spectrum the white space. Engineers are hard at work developing ways to use this space to bring you fun stuff like new forms of entertainment and important stuff like public safety and education. In the home, the TV white spaces will allow all our devices to truly unplug. With speed and distance capabilities greater than existing wireless home networks, the growing number of home devices will be able to communicate directly with each other without wires. Since these new devices will be able to sense each other, networking your home will truly be unplug and play. The network will automatically detect new devices and connect them. The nature of the white spaces signal will make them a useful resource because white spaces signals travel much further and pass through objects, like your home's walls, better than existing municipal wireless networks. Communities and internet service providers will be able to set up wireless internet access without the cost associated with using existing technology. Rural areas will also benefit as white spaces make wireless internet access a reality for Americans without other broadband options. During the recovery effort for Hurricane Katrina, first responders of all types set up ad hoc wireless access points to facilitate communication between all the different agencies involved in the life-saving efforts. In the future, first responders everywhere could use white spaces technology as an automatic part of any response to ensure they can always communicate with other services. So you're probably asking why we don't have these great new applications and devices right now. Well, there are a lot of people trying to get them to you. Companies like Dell, Google, Microsoft, Philips, Motorola, along with consumer and education groups, they are all working hard to open this unused spectrum for all of us. As is often the case, though, not everyone wants to see this innovation happen. Groups who have enjoyed free and exclusive rights to the TV spectrum, even though they don't use most of it, want to stop consumers, you, from using it. Fortunately, the Federal Communications Commission is doing the right thing. The FCC is in the process of collecting data on white space technologies and applications so they can write rules of the road. The folks at the FCC know exactly how to do this and have successfully brought new technologies to the marketplace. They did it with the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum so many years ago, and thanks to them, we can talk on our cordless phones while surfing the internet wirelessly. And once the FCC decides how to bring these new technologies to use safely and securely, we will all start using them to watch videos like this. So my friends, the future is bright with all the colors of the spectrum. We're excited, and we hope you're excited too. I'm James Sherwood. Thank you for watching.